Okay, my name's Jiang Xu. I'm from uh, the Department of Geography and Resource Management, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And my major research area is um, urban studies in China, and then urban planning, and perhaps um, uh, some issues relating to uh, regional study and regional planning as well. And then I think the Chinese city are changing so quite uh, very, very rapidly to the point that even though the research on China uh, is growing uh, fast, it still cannot keep up uh, with the pace of uh, urban development in China. So this may actually lead to a gap between what is um, um, going on on the ground and what is, um, and what is written by uh, the scholars. And the situation may create some academic inadequacy, if you like, a challenge. For example, one of the inadequacy is a tendency towards the separation of policy making and uh, theoretical debates. Yeah, we have a group of, group of people who are doing uh, very well practical work and planning consultancy work, but without much theoretical insight or much theoretical reports. And uh, on the other hand, we have a number of other people who are doing excellent academic work and, uh, and who um, um, are doing this theoretical, uh, engage actively in theoretical debate, but without much uh, you know, empirical support like, like accessibility to data and also um, other uh, empirical supports. So the one challenge is that how we can actually bridge these two group of people. Another kind of inadequacy, I think, is the tendency or or you what you like the uh, the tendency towards the back uh, abstraction and uh, where the scholar jump off from the empirical cases of coastal regions to the ideal theoretical categories that are supposedly widely applicable in China. And this may be present another challenge because we really need to move away from the coastal region to other places in China, such as the inland city, in order to have a more holistic interpretation of China's development as a whole. Okay, thank you.